these individuals who have been at their lowest have used sport to rehabilitate themselves and their families and now they want to serve again. Sport is very important for the soul and for the body and people who do sport regularly, they are healthier in mind and in body. The beauty of eSports and getting together online is that you can continue those connections that you make in person at the Invictus Games. You don't need to have a sit-down session that's going to say how are you feeling, how is your mental health. You have a game, you have a casual conversation with someone and then details come to light and the feelings come to light and it just makes it a little bit easier to have those conversations that are so important for mental health. Esports is a medicine. Throughout the years, I realized the PTSD that I suffer from, some people say, it's a way to calm. Sometimes there's a lot going on inside my brain and it's great to have a distraction. It's a healthy distraction. You can be more concentrated, not in your problems in real life, that much in the game. I believe that this can change everything. Well, it's given me like a solid foundation of friends and a support system. It's also something that's just helped me like with my overall like mental well-being and stuff, giving me a good community of supporting friends. If I'm injured and I can't go to the gym, video games and esports are like a huge thing that help me recover and feel better and stay like positive overall. It's stimulating, it's engaging, and it's a good community and I think it should be a part of the games. You don't see behind the screens necessarily, but you can have a wheelchair user, you can have somebody who's missing a limb, you can have somebody with a traumatic brain injury. They all come together, they build community. When we build these devices, everyone can engage. And that's what we want to do is remove the barriers and open it up to everybody. I live in Baghdad and I'm away from my family. I have my partner who lives in South Wales and my kids live on the outskirts of London and we connect playing Fortnite at least three times a week and that keeps us connected for the time that I'm in Baghdad. We can connect as a family which is really important to me. It was marvelous. In the first place I never think I could use my two fingers but when the game progresses I, I discover that I can use my two fingers to maneuver. I feel excited, I feel motivated, I feel I feel lifted. Now I've discovered that there's ability in disability, you know. I discovered that I can still use my two fingers. That's why the non functionality. The Invictus Gaming is a huge deal. The family and the children are together. 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 장애 구분 없이 게임을 즐길 수 있기 때문에 꼭 필요한 그런 정보라고 생각합니다. The future of the opportunity is about that consistent engagement of not just these veterans, ex-military and their families, but again the broader community. We're able to demonstrate through these athletes this week the power of recovery, the power of adaptive sports, how you can really do anything. And that's what we want to continue is that disability inclusion, not just here, but forever. For those people at home, I feel they should go for what they want without limitation. You know, don't let your heart tell you you can't do it. You can do it, yeah. You can do it no matter what. Just keep pushing and keep pushing and keep pushing. Never look back and never say never. You can do it no matter the disability. Instead of courage, confidence and respect, you know. Without respect, without courage, without confidence, you can never achieve your dream. Now I'm a civilian, so I don't get the opportunity to go out and compete with my comrades and, or have a challenge faced with me. Nobody's coming to me with a challenge. I could hit a button, turn on a challenge, become a little stronger in my mind, or take away a darkness by turning on a different light and actually bringing some joy.